It's one of the most critically acclaimed shows in years, putting a new spin on the spy drama. And now we're just days away from season two of Killing Eve. Yes, Fiona Shaw returns as Carolyn, Eve's charismatic and captivating boss who's helping her hunt a killer. Take a look. What? Yeah. Uh, how, how do you always look so good? I mean, do you even sleep? It's my moisturizer. It's made of pig's placenta. Costs a fortune, smells like ass, but it is exceedingly effective. I don't mind smelling like arse. I'll send you the link. Oh my goodness, and Fiona is here with us now. Welcome. Thank you. Well, fans cannot get enough of your character, Carolyn. Yes. I, I'm so excited the show is coming back. We've described, they've described you as principled yet ruthless, which I think is kind of perfect. Yes. <laughs> Don't you think? Like, well, how, do you, how did you find her personality? Did you get a lot of backstory? Well, when I was first sent the script, I read it in bed and I thought, this is hilarious, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. And sure enough, I find it very hard to act because my natural disposition would be to smile sometimes in life, but Carolyn hardly ever smiles. Yeah, I know. And I think it's because she's running a huge conglomerate of spies, etc. And so, you know, for every Eve you see, she may have five other Eves. You just don't know yeah. how many other machines she's running. So it's a very, it's it's a very unusual thing to play. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I yeah. feel like she's such a mystery too. There always seems yes. to be secrets simmering with Carolyn. Yes. Are, are any of them going to get revealed this year? Are going to stay a mystery? I think I. I mean, that's a, yeah, that's a mystery I can't reveal to you. <laughs> it is a, uh, some of them, I mean, you probably get to know them a little better, the people better in the second season, yeah. because already the mind of the audience is so tuned up from the season one yeah. that you'll inevitably feel that you're up or ahead or with the, the, the characters in season two. Yeah. So yeah. I'll see what you think at the end of season yeah. two. Yes, do. It's interesting. We, see, we, we begin by seeing Carolyn as so, you know, straight laced and by the book, uh, as you know, just a by the book spy, but yeah. then as it unravels in the season, we see her using her femininity. Yes. To her, you know, she's a mom. She, there's so many la layers to her. Did you get to bring, um, you know, did you get to help develop this character at all? Well, I'll tell you one amazing secret, which was about, we were shooting for about two, two weeks and somebody said, Sean, uh, who plays Ken, Kenny, looks very, very like Fiona. So Phoebe Waterbridge, who is a genius, just said, why don't we make him her son? Yeah. So he became my son, even though we were already shooting. Oh, so that he didn't come on as your son. No, ah. so he became my son. And I think that's a marvelous thing about the kind of fluidity of the show. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now he's my son. I mean, he is my son. <laughs> and that's a huge part of the show, actually, is that, is that he is my son. Because yeah. it's a shock to the audience, too. And it's yes. like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> he's a son. <laughs> um, so that's, I think that's going to go on playing very well. So yeah. I think it's allowed, you know, New ideas have allowed new ideas to spring, and yeah. somewhere I think this show's triumph is that you mustn't underestimate anyone you meet, yeah. and that's so true in life. It's yeah, so true. It is true. I mean, the show is a global sensation. There was 14 BAFTA yes. nominations for this show, which is the yes. most of any show this year. You got one for yourself I as did. well. Where were you when you found out? Uh, I was actually, I was filming Ammonites, which is a film that's being made with Kate Winslet down, um, down in Lyme Regis. So I was in the middle of filming, but it was so very nice. Did you celebrate it all? No, because no. <laughs> I don't get up early, but I will. <laughs> Soon to come. I will. Well, you know, most people have known you for a long time for Harry Potter, and now with the success of Killing Eve, are more people recognizing you for that or still for Harry Potter? Well, I think I was saying the other day that things have changed. When I used to come through LAX airport in the old days, during the Harry Potter days, children used to go, Mom, Mom, stop crying. <laughs> At oh, least no. that has changed. Now you come out and people start sort of asking you questions about, you know, are you really bad or are you really good? Right, it's, right. It's a very, you know, the great thing about that kind of fame that comes from the ser series is it makes the world much smaller. The world becomes a village. Yeah. Everybody comes up and talks to you. Yeah. yeah. Usually, that only about the show, you, yes. right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, you're working with the Killing Eve writer uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge yes. on another project on the series Fleabag, yes. which is a great name. Yes. Uh, you actually play her therapist on this. So, what, how did that come about? She asked me. Yeah, and you're like, okay. <laughs> I love when that happens. Yeah. She asked me. She said, could I do the series? And I was in the middle of doing Killing Eve, the second series, and I was also doing an opera. I was busy, busy, busy last autumn. So I couldn't. And then at the end of it, she said, I have written a scene. Can you do it when you're free? And yeah. suddenly, we just did this one scene. And is it nice um, to work with her in a different it's capacity? It's beyond. Yeah. And she is so, again, this sort of 
bright spinning plates fluidity. We were sitting there doing the scene and she goes, do you mind changing this to this while she's playing the other character? Oh, really? She's very brilliant. Oh, I yeah. love that. Yeah, that too. All right, well, season charming. two of Killing Eve premieres Sunday at 8 o'clock on BBC America and AMC, so don't miss it. Thanks miss so it. much for stopping by. Pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you.